While we enjoy eating several foods and drinks mm, over a typical yummy, yummy. day, our mouth offers a warm, nutrient-rich and cozy environment for several microbes, such as strains of streptococci. In order to survive in the oral cavity, the bacteria should hold some specific characteristics. They have to resist the mucosal immune system that provides the first line of defense against bacteria. They must be able to attach to the teeth, gums, tongue, and other oral surfaces to resist mechanical flushing into the destructive hydrochloric acid medium of the stomach. The oral compatible bacteria are mainly anaerobic meaning that they do not need oxygen access to survive. Really? So, they can easily live within the tiny crevices in the oral cavity, such as the junctions between the gingiva and the teeth. But how do we acquire those bacteria over our lifetime? Well, the oral cavity of a newborn baby initially does not contain any bacteria. However, it is colonized soon during or after the birth. Acquisition of oral bacteria during the birth heavily depends on the route of delivery, either being vaginally or cesarean. Infants with vaginal delivery receive a more diverse oral microbiota. Feeding method of the baby also makes a difference. For example, compared with formula feeding, breastfeeding leads to colonization of more lactobacilli in the oral cavity of the babies. Emergence of teeth highly contributes to the diversity of bacteria in the oral cavity. By emerging the primary teeth and later the adult teeth in the mouth, new colonization sites will be provided for the bacteria. Further acquisition of oral bacteria highly depends on our hygiene, living habits, consumption of antibiotics, and so on. Frequent intimate kissing plays a role in microbial exchange by saliva between partners. The exchange microbes in the saliva are usually washed away after a few hours, bringing back the salivary microbiota of the individuals into its past equilibrium. On a tooth surface, bacteria can create biofilms to finally damage the tooth in the form of a dental plaque. Tongue surface provides a unique ecological site for the bacteria due to the presence of several papillae. The microscale spaces between these papillae tend to not receive oxygenated saliva providing a nice environment for the anaerobic bacteria to colonize there. Okay, after knowing all of these, I would keep in mind that a high level of oral hygiene is needed to kick out the harmful bacteria from my mouth. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.